Hi everyone, this is Anil. Welcome to uh, part 11 of Vendor Risk Management video series. We will look at export and other features in this video. So the uh, yeah, so basically the export feature that we're talking about is how do we export the responses which are provided by the vendor. So to do that, you can open the risk assessment record and look for questionnaire, click on view responses. And here we see the responses which are provided by vendor. Now, if you want to export this to an Excel and uh, and see the responses as well, that is possible using export responses button. So when you click on that, it will try to download it. And the downloaded version will look like this. So it will have assessment details tab, which contains, contains assessment information like who is the vendor contact and so on. Then we have sections, section A, which has serial number, question, data type, answer choice, correct answer, actual answer, comments from vendor, related issues and so on. Uh, and similarly, section B, section C and section D. So depending on the sections we have in the uh, questionnaire, those sections will appear here as tabs in spreadsheet. So which means each of these will be a tab and there will be a tab for the details of this assessment. So that is how you can export a response from here. Now that is only applicable to questionnaire uh, templates, but uh, you cannot export for document requests. So if you see here, if you open window response for document, you don't see that option called export response. And there is also a way to export all the responses for a questionnaire. If we go here, so you have a button called export all. When you click on that, it exports all of them uh, as well. So if you have multiple questionnaires, then you can export all of them using export all button. So that's how we export uh, responses. Now I'm checking if, uh, if there's an option to do the same thing from agent workspace, from vendor management workspace. So I'm navigating uh, into the vendor assessment and questionnaires, but I don't see that option here. So which means it is only available in the platform view that you can export all. But yeah, it is not there in the workspace view yet. Maybe in the future releases it may be added, but not at this point. Uh, so one more option to export is uh, you can go to questionnaire and the risk assessment and check the checkbox, uh, select the questionnaire you want to export, and then you have an option called export questionnaire. So that should also allow you to export. So you click on export and it exports it. So again, you can see that the it has all the tabs, assessment details, and each section has a tab in it. Uh, so next we'll talk about how to associate a, question to a control objective. So to do that, let's go to control objectives. So this requires installation of uh, GRC, policy and compliance. Uh, so we'll go to control objectives. And here we can pick up any control objective. Let's say basic, it's there. Okay, send network. And we'll just say establish criticality of network. We'll select this. And here we have all these related lists for this control objective. So for example, entity types, additional entities and so on. Here we can uh, edit, say, see if we have vendors available here. Yeah, let's add it, save it. And then, uh, then we'll try to add assessment metrics. So here you click on add. Now we want to add this sample and section B, let's say, question 11, right? That's what we want to add. So, so sample is the type, section B, question 11. So I'll say create relationship. 
association of metric type to records complete. That's what you get as a message. Now let's try to uh, assign this to a vendor. So we go to, let's start with assessment, start with vendor risk. And then we have assessment templates. And we'll say security assessment moderate risk. This already has sample, so this is good. Now let's change the application scope to GRC under risk management. And it has these two. So now we can use this to associate a, uh, assessment to a vendor. So let's go to the risk again. Go to assessments, all assessments. Click on new. Uh, demo assessment for components integration we'll say vendor is warrant check uh, assessment template is this and all of that so before we do that let's check if it has any primary when contacts so come here we will uh, add a contact here. Uh, the best way to do it is change the vendor name. It is the fastest way. So we'll go to a vendor <clears throat> contact. Uh, we'll go here. We'll change this to modern electric. Save it. We'll come back here. We refresh the list. We should see this. Now we are all good. So now we're good. Now we will submit this. So we have successfully submitted a vendor risk assessment. Uh, now let's check here. Warren. This is the vendor risk assessment we have submitted. Yeah. Let's look at the created timestamp to see when it is submitted. Created. Yeah, this is the one. Okay. So now we'll go to portal and we'll try to submit this. So before we can do that, we have to submit this to vendor. So let's go ahead and submit to vendor. And now to submit to vendor, the risk assessment has been sent to Warren Electric. The following questionnaires or document requests are not associated to any risk scoring rule and will not be impacted on the score. So, so let's now go and submit this. Okay, so one assessment is available. I'm gonna open that. Did I lose my impersonation? Yeah, let me impersonate back and try again. Okay, now I've refreshed the page. I can see that uh, this assessment has come up. Now let's open sample. Uh, let's open the one which is not submitted. This one here. Sample. And question B11 is where we have given that. Uh, we'll read, read this a little bit because we need to pick up the right compliance score record. So let's use this and let's try to add assessment metric again. And we'll also try to pick up a metric which 
as which is a derivative of yes and no. Yeah. So I'll remove this. Yeah, section A will take one point two. We'll select this. You make create relationship. Now it is successfully created. Now we will save it. Now let's try to fair. Now we already have the entity type here, which is let's also add, add vendors. Save it. Now the entity type is added vendors and we have also added this assessment metric now let's uh, complete this here section a uh, I think one point so this is the question that we have uh, mapped so I select this we'll complete the rest of the stuff uh, Next, doesn't matter. Next, and save draft, and then save and sign. Draw mm. and So we have draw if we still drawing. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we are signed to complete. Now we have signed it and we exit it. So we'll submit the assessment now. And once you submit it, now let's come back here. We'll open the vendor record. We'll look for, uh, let's go here, vendor risk, and open all open assessments, and look for vendor called Vernal Electric. This is submitted to vendor and okay, we have given the response. So let's check why it is not received. So let's complete SOC report also. Uh, is not applicable, save draft and exit. Now you can submit it. Submit. Submit it to our awesome now. Now we are here on the risk assessment. We'll refresh it. Uh, it should say response received because we have submitted it. Hmm. Yeah, now it's response received. And here we will complete, move forward. We'll say generate observations. And you can also see that the control is now applied, right? And then finalize with vendor. Uh, 